Thanks. A Cache Valley man is gaining some surprise attention after putting this piece of artwork on display in the middle of nowhere in Logan Canyon. Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson shows us how he carefully makes these designs using some snowshoes and a bit of math. Take a look past the highway to the footprints. They can show you where you've been, where you're going, or maybe what you've been carefully planning. A lot of fun, a lot of exercise. Eric Flygare is a man of precision, of patience, and to be honest, a man frustrated by a dry winter. He says that's what pushed him to try something new. Like three weeks. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we just started. Yeah. Yeah, we just barely started three weeks ago. And Eric walks, his wife Amy helps, and shoots video. It's a combination of experience as an engineer and art. It's not, <laughs> it's not super easy. I mean, so I taught, I taught the scouts orienteering for many, many years. And so I'm like, I've got a compass, I can do this. And they've had some practice on the family farm making these art pieces. We'd see airplanes flying by and they'd start circling around, so I guess a few people saw it. So they tried for a wider audience. Granted, carving out this snow was not as easy. You have to know precisely where you're going without being able to see the big picture up above. And that's really all these are, miles of carefully planned steps, counting them as you go, carefully plotting out the angles. I'll set a point off in the distance and then you count steps until you get to that point. They say this one took over three hours to tromp out. But you're in the mountains and it's beautiful and it's awesome to yep. be up there, so. Eric has some more designs. They'll probably do it again, but really this is kind of a hold off for where they really want to go. People keep saying they're, they're wondering if we're going to be sad, you know, like when it snows and covers us up and we're like, we're waiting for the snow because <laughs> this is just kind of killing time until we can get on the, the good powder, you know. And this winter, getting to that next solid storm can take some patience too. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.